Hey everyone, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. Well, I uh, took the SLR 106 UR pistol out today to the range and was going to do uh, some test firing, function testing, that kind of thing. And uh, within the first two shots, we had a significant malfunction and the fire control group completely disassembled itself. Uh, went to shoot the second round and didn't get any kind of click with the trigger or anything. I noticed the first round the trigger did not reset. I had to kind of push it out with my finger almost to get it to reset. Uh, and then the second round, the, the uh, pin up here in the front which holds the hammer assembly here completely wiggled its way out. Which I'm thinking is a failure of this really cheap shepherd's hook that they're using in here. I mean this thing is probably the cheapest one I've ever seen. And for an um, arsenal weapon, that, that's pretty surprising that they would use such a you know, a little tiny piece like this to hold everything together. It's very surprising. So uh, I'm guessing that this thing was the failure uh, with two shots through it uh, from right out of the box and having an issue like this, it's pretty disappointing, I have to say. Uh, what my plan is here at this point is to try to see if I can utilize, um, I had fortunately this hanging around, one of these Tapco re AK retaining plates. And what this does is it completely replaces the uh, cheap shepherd's hook that a lot of AK-47s uses, and uh, this should hold those pins in much better. Hopefully it will, it will work on this, this uh, particular pistol. I'm not sure it will. We'll certainly have to find out. I'm, I'm hoping so because I don't, do not want to have to revert back to this thing because this thing is just garbage in my opinion. So uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is again kind of just show you what I got here. Fortunately, nothing blew up in my face or came apart in my face. That, that was fortunate. Uh, but again, pretty disappointing that we had this issue right out of the box within two rounds. And I'll patch in some, hopefully, I, you know, I don't know if it'll be worth it or not, but if I decide it'll be worth it, I'll patch in some of the video of the first two shots that I took. Uh, my wife and I will hopefully be visiting the range again tonight after we have dinner with some family, and I plan on letting her shoot this and the other SLR106FR, so uh, hopefully I can get this up and running and we'll get some decent footage of uh, the first test shots, or I guess in this case, second test shots, uh, to make sure it works. Alright guys, stay tuned and I'll uh, get this put together and we'll take a look at it. Hey everybody, back again with you. I had success putting in the TAPCO AK-47 retaining plate. This is part number AK-0690 by TAPCO. Replaced this shepherd's hook here, which is just a flimsy piece of metal. It definitely did not do the job, obviously. Two shots out of the box, it gave way. So uh, what it did is it... Uh, replace that pin with this retaining plate as you can see here it starts back here it's held in by the safety selector which was a little bit tight to get both through both those holes and hold everything but it did come together pretty easily and uh, goes up holds that uh, or caps captures that rear pin here which holds the trigger control and then uh, captures also that front pin up here uh, by the spring system um, that holds the, the hammer pin and everything seems to be real tight and nice in there. It definitely seems like it'll it'll hold it a lot better than the original Shepherd's Hook. We can only hope at this point. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a function test. I'll pull it back here. Locks into place. Go ahead and release it. Everything looks well there. We'll go ahead and put the gun back together and just make sure it function tests that way as well. Actually here off the safety down, hammer back. Stick a recoil spring in here. that down and just kind of taking a look then what you want to take a look at is your pins back here making sure that they're uh, they're held together looks like they're not popping back out everything is pretty snug and tight you can also check the front on this side you can kind of push them a little bit if there really isn't anything holding them in there they'll be loose and both those are very tight at this point so you know, I did function test this when I first bought it just like this and didn't have any issues. So a lot of it came with the recoil of the round, the 223 round. So, well, the only real uh, positive way of making sure this was a complete fix is taking it to the range again and, and doing some more function testing, which stay tuned, guys, because obviously that's going to be our next step. So hopefully we have a little bit better luck. Hopefully that took care of the situation. Again, a little bit disappointed that that uh, even needed to be done, being that it's a brand new gun and... Arsenal is generally well known for their quality marksmanship or uh, quality uh, builds and stuff. So a little disappointed, like I said, but what can you do? All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I appreciate watching. Until next time, take her easy.